In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu Linux on the VMware Workstation Pro. In my previous video, I had already shown you how you can install Ubuntu Linux in the VMware VirtualBox. If you haven't installed VMware Workstation Pro, or if you are not sure what is the VMware Workstation Pro, please check my previous video. I'll also put the video link in the description below. Okay, so what is Ubuntu Linux? According to the official Ubuntu page, Ubuntu is a Linux distribution based Debian and composed mostly of free and open source software. Ubuntu is officially released in the three edition desktop, server, and core for Internet of Things, IoT devices, and robot. All the edition can run on the computer alone or in the virtual machine. With that, before beginning, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Alright, let's go ahead and start it. So once you open the VMware Workstation, you have to click on file and click on new virtual machine once you click on new virtual machine you'll see the exact same thing in the typical or custom i will highly recommend it with the typical and click on next and i will choose the operating system later so i will show you how we can edit the virtual box so click on next and i will say linux and i will choose the ubuntu 64 bit and click on next and i also put the same folder it doesn't really matter and click on next i will put 30 on this one and i will store the single file so single file is easier to move here and there so that's why and click on next and you have to click on finish if you satisfy all the settings or you can customize the hardware if you click on that it will ask you to choose all of this thing you can remove and add the hardware devices from here so those are the virtual so you will stay there click on close click on finish and once you click on finish it will pop up right here and then you have to download the iso from the browser i'll put this link in the description below so you'll able to uh, download from there go to ubuntu.com slash download and you will able to get this page and click on download you are installing the ubuntu desktop right here and then click on the ubuntu desktop and then you will able to download the, the iso from here because i already download the iso and but i'm not gonna download again i will cancel this one and i will minimize this one and click on if you go back to the vm or workstation and then click on add it and after clicking add it we have to select the iso browse download and iso from here and then open to 2022 and click on open and click on ok after that you have to power this on all right in this section you have to select the try or install the ubuntu on this one the first one okay so in this section you have to select the language you have to select the installed ubuntu because you are going to install it and select the language from here i will select the english from here if you are uh, from somewhere please feel free to select of this one click on install ubuntu okay in this section you have to select the keyboard layout as I mentioned you earlier, if you are somewhere from the different location, you can select from here. I will select English US and then click continue. For this one, you have to select the normal installation because it will include all the software and the gaming and then all those media players. And then if you select minimal installation, there will be only browser and some basic utility. So I will go with the normal installation and then check mark on this one because this is the by default. You have to select on the downloads because I normally I like the um, updates from the Ubuntu and then click on continue 
for this one one i'll go with the first one if you want to select something you if you want manually partition you ha you can select from here but i will go with the first one because i don't want to do all the parties you don't have to waste the time by partition uh, so that's why just to be sure and then make sure you are gonna go with the saving time so so click on install now and this will ask you to confirm i will the partition one and uh, sorry partition partition two and partition three so this will be the sda uh, extension and then click on continue so it will override all the partition and then format the disk as per your requirement so click on continue all right in this section you have to select the time zone where you located uh, i will select the los angeles and click on continue okay so for this one you have to select the name name for the user whoever belongs to select the cyber um spy cyber and also i will say cyber spy cyber and i will pick the name which will be you have to remember this name because after installation you have to use the same exact name to log in once you confirm the password you have to choose the require my password to log in because if you choose the login automatic it, it will automatically log in so without any password just make sure you are checking in with this required password after login if you have active directory you can do from active directory you can check more and then if uh, after it continue we will ask you to all those credentials so i'm not gonna do with that i will click continue now it is installing and it's copying all those files all right now it is installing the system so now it is downloading the packets if you want to escape you can escape from here but i don't want to escape right now all right the installation has been completed and click on restart now it will restart the open do all right let's go ahead and type your password so this is the online account we don't need it so we can skip it 
and click on don't send and click on next and if you want to privacy location you can turn on from here but that's fine for me i don't want to turn on click on next and then you are ready to go finally you are able to successfully install the open new desktop version if you want to shut down the vm you have to click here or if you want to change the uh, ip address you can select from here and you have to go wire settings and click on here and you can change from ip before it's is on the you can change from manually here dhcp and also you can shut down and you can restore from here in my next video i will show you how you can hack the wi-fi if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share my video